okay so this is my Samsung Galaxy S3 and this is the smart cover for the S3 it's the cover integrated with the back cover but I did like a hybrid case with a, with a rubber so it fits like perfectly um, I have this is the LTE version the North American version with the Snapdragon processor and 2 gigs of RAM. I have it rooted and I have it on a AT&T ROM. Not the official, but somebody made. I'm going to show you. Okay. I'm going to show you what I have on it. Um, my model should be i747M because I'm in Canada on Bell. That's what their version was when I had it. And this is the ROM I'm on. And still 4.04. I'm going to do a quadrant and, uh, and 2.2 benchmark. But I want to show you that power saving is off because that because their power saving on here reduces the CPU power and it really shows when I do the benchmark so what I'm, what I'm going to do I'm going to close all the apps here I'm going to see if anything's running in task manager Throughout their memory, so I got 466 out of 1.62 gigs. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're gonna go back. I'll do an Antutu benchmark first. And we're gonna start the test. I will be right back. Okay, back. Okay, keep note when it does the SD card read and write speed, I got a Patriot Class 10 32 gig card in here. I don't know if that makes any difference if I have a different SD card in my phone, the micro SD, I should say.
complicated. <clears throat> okay, let's see what happened here. So I got a score of 65.95. CPU 31, 31.69, RAM 10.68, GPU 15.63, and IO 7.95. I had a little bit higher score before, but I did a little bit more opti optimization. So that, that could be why. So I'm just going to go back and close all the killing apps. Actually that didn't work. Sometimes sometimes Advanced Task Manager freezes on Android 4.04. But I'm going to go back into Task Manager and clear the memory again. So it's showing I have a little bit more memory than I did before I ran N22, but I'm gonna run Quadrant now. I just wanna show you the information. Two cores, that's how much RAM I have. I'm gonna run full benchmark. Okay, so we're gonna go yes to resolve the benchmark. And my device, let's see if I can zoom, focus here. I'll zoom in, get a focus. Okay, my device, 49.51. And it beats the HTC X One X. But keep in mind, they're probably testing the quad-core version of the HTC One X because here in Canada, uh, the Rogers one has a, a dual-core Snapdragon in it, just like my phone. So I'm not quite sure which one they're testing there. Um, as for total memory and I/O and 2D, 3D, that's what I get. And I want to make one more note. This is all I have turned on, just for performance. So if I go all the way down in, in settings, the developer options, and then I go down, I have forced 2D GPU rendering. That's why I get a higher G 2D score than normal. And yeah, thanks for watching.